Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today we're going to talk about Canon 250 and we're going to shoot, we're going to be looking at the creative filters that's available to you on this camera. Um, it is a pretty decent camera. Um, it's a mid-range camera. It goes for about four, five hundred pounds in the UK. And if you're a dapper do young photographer out there in the world shooting away your birds and your buildings and your sports photography, just consider about getting one of these as, as an extra camera, I would say. So got in creative mode and all I'm going to basically do is I'm going to click on the Q button and I'm going to go to choose filter and here you've got all these different filters and if I click on grainy you can have a grainy image and these are basically click and change you've got your um, contrast so you can contrast it up and up you've got your mode so your, your one shot or your timer and you've got your built-in flash or your hot shoot flash that you might put on there as well what I'm focusing on obviously is filters so you've got blur so these are all blur these are all filters that you can apply so you can have soft focus so you, if you're shooting cats or you're shooting maybe something maybe a car for example you've got a Maserati or a Bentley sitting in your driveway I wish I had one of those my days I'm like what well, life would be amazing sitting in my fancy car maybe fancy people looking at me going "Ooh, look at that fancy guy with that fancy car but that's another day so you've got soft touch, you've got um, um, fisheye, so fisheye basically makes it more like a oval shape like this, if you can see that, okay. Um, so you might want to use that for like maybe certain shots, you remember back in the days in the 90s all the hip hop artists used to be using that and in some Bollywood films you saw that kind of feel as well and you can use that for filming and photography as well. You've got uh, water paint, so this is like a water, like a your Monet, your, your fresco type look. Um, I don't particularly like that. I think it looks a bit sort of Instagram-y type filters. You've got toy camera. So if you want to make it look like it's been taken by a toy camera from back in the days, those little ones that your, your parents or your grandparents probably gave you, you probably got one right now from your mum and dad, then that's the sort of thing you can get from that as well. Um, natural effect and you've got HDR high definition render so this is worth putting on folks because you get a for say for example you're in Singapore or Hong Kong or Mumbai or New York or maybe London um, you can add HDR vivid so for example if you shoot in light, um, night shots and you want that kind of cinematic look with all the neon lights maybe in Singapore or, or Beijing or Hong Kong with all their fluorescent lights if you put it on that you'll get those colors pop out so it's really worth trying that and you've got HDR um, art bowls so like for example natural images maybe you do what we want in more a painting like effect and you're doing more natural things you might want to put it in art bold and you've got HDR em embossed so it gives it like an embossed effect so there's quite a few HDR effects that you can apply on this camera which are pretty cool I think um, to use and to apply Okay, so yeah guys, this is a quick tutorial on the creative filters that's available to you on this Canon 250D. Any questions, please do post and I'm happy to do a shout out.